All right, all set. Ready for the storm, bring it on. Not too much. <laughs> I'm still in my jammies. <laughs> I have set up my generator out here because remember my onboard generator doesn't work. I will be troubleshooting that. It's a fuel issue for those of you uh, mechanics and small engine experts. I, I'm pretty sure it's a fuel issue and I am going to try to change the fuel filter and maybe the fuel pump myself when I get around to it. But uh, I, I went ahead. I didn't want to have to do this in the rain. I haven't had to use my generator pretty much, I think, since I got my solar set up. I didn't want to have to do this in the rain, so I got, went ahead and get it, got it set up. I put a tarp over it. I don't want to run it in the rain. I always cover it up. So there's the front, and this is really important, and of course, it's going to get 25, 30 mile an hour winds, so we'll see how this does. And of course, the most important part is the back. You need to make sure the back stays ventilated. Uh, I made the mistake one time of the tarp ending up collapsing and and it'll kill the generator and in fact I think it shut off because the exhaust was blocked so you're definitely going to need that to uh, be ventilated but I put all my plugs and everything under there so nothing will get wet so when it does rain when it does start raining maybe even sooner than that see how cloudy it is I'm not getting any any sun right now set up my camera for a time lapse that ought to be fun okay so I am ready for the storm and maybe uh, maybe we'll hang out throughout the day we'll see how it goes <laughs> that's a good idea I think I'll show you a day in the RV kind of riding out I, I keep saying a well a storm 30 mile an hour winds and a half a half an inch of rain in Arizona standards that's a storm I used to laugh living in the Bay Area uh, San Francisco Bay Area. I grew up in upstate New York where it rains like 300 days a year and I laughed because in California you get any rain and it's a big storm <laughs> because we just don't get a ton of rain in Northern California especially now it's really bad uh, but yeah you're right depending on where you live in this country your idea of storm changes drastically and I know many of you in uh, more drastic climates look at us and you're like you're, what a weenie <laughs> 25 mile an hour winds and a half an inch of rain and you're all like hunkering down for a giant storm. I know, I'm a weenie. <laughs> it's beautiful. And I really expected to wake up to rain and a lot more wind. So maybe it's not going to be as bad. They really, last night at one point I saw up to 30 mile per hour winds. And you all know how much I love winds. Sarcasm, insert sarcasm. Look at that beautiful sky. I should get a still of this. All right, the rain is coming, but I had to get out for my morning walk. I haven't been getting enough exercise. So I'm just trying to get, I'd like to get at least three miles in as fast as possible. I'm coming up on a mile. So it means a mile and a half out, a mile and a half back. So I still have another half mile to go. And it's starting to come down. I don't know. It almost looked like freezing rain at first. But... Where am I? Don't worry, I do have a hat and gloves. Thank you, Melissa, for the gloves. <laughs> but I decided to take my hat off for a minute to kind of get rid of my bed head. <laughs> Let my hair get a little wet. All right, it's beautiful. I gotta keep walking though. I should be coming up on a mile here in a minute. Poop. 
glad the weather held off during my walk. I didn't bring Capone with me because I just wanted to go super fast. And he doesn't really go super fast. He stops and sniffs and sniffs and hunts and lollygags and then he gets way behind and then I have to wait for him to get caught up because I don't want him to be too far out of sight. I am seeing evidence of bears out here and uh, I don't know how old the bear scat is that I'm seeing but uh, I don't want to take any chances. I don't know if they hibernate in Arizona. Probably. Hey, my hat! <laughs> Look at that! I dropped my hat. The women of the RTR who heard my story about something I dropped on a trail once. <laughs> That'll be a little inside joke just between us. If you remember, leave a comment if you remember that. You don't necessarily have to tell what the story was. That's just between us. <laughs> but say, yeah, I remember it if you were there. That was a fun story. So the storm hasn't been as bad as the weather said, of course. A little bit of spattering here and there. The wind hasn't been bad at all. I think I might be a little protected in the spot I'm in, but it, look how dark it is and cloudy. And check out how my solar is doing. 5.6, 5, 5 5.7 amps on a cloudy day. That's pretty good. It's been enough to keep me going on the laptop. Look at the heater is on. The furnace just kicked on, the laptop is on, and I'm charging my portable battery, and my battery's still at 12.9. Not bad. It's nice having everything set up right. Here comes the rain. It's a good time to clean my rugs. At least get them, get some of the dust aired out of them. My first rainstorm. I haven't had any rain since I've been in Phoenix. My RV Phoenix. So we'll see how she does. No surprises, please. Keep some of my produce up here because it's usually cooler up here. I can block it off at night when I don't have room in my fridge. All right. Literally, like 10 minutes ago, I decided it's time to move. <laughs> I had planned on staying here for three more days or so, but it's not gonna be any higher than the 40s in the next couple of days. I've been here eight days. I moved because I wanted cooler winter-like weather and now I've had enough. <laughs> I just decided I've had enough. I can move two hours away and uh, and then get 10 degrees at least. I think more like 12 degrees warmer. It's gonna be down to 29 tonight and where I'm moving it's gonna be in the 40s. And I've been running the generator a lot. It's cloudy, I'm not getting a lot of sun. Uh, I even feel like it's too cold to go for a walk. 
Uh, it's too muddy to go for a walk. I went for a walk yesterday, and you know that really sticky, gooey mud that just cakes on and peels off, um, like spreads out on the bottom of your shoes and Capone's paws? <laughs> That's what it's like here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get packed up, and um, I'm gonna move just like that. Little nervous about getting out of this road because I really was planning on staying here um, until it dries out for a couple of days, but it's really thick. I think it'll be fine. Little nervous, it's a little bit of a risk, but heck, that's what keeps life interesting, <laughs> right? All right, I'm gonna get packed up. Let's go, see how fast I can get this done. decided to leave and I'm ready to go. <laughs> awesome. Look who else is ready to go. He's been up there. Yeah, look. Well, it's a mess in here because I've been moving and I didn't even make my bed today. But look, you know when it's time to go, don't you? Yeah, are we gonna go? Everything latched down. I've been here a week. Yeah, everything, make sure everything is latched down. All the, all the cupboards are closed. I'm ready. Oh, I always forget this. <laughs> I'll be drinking a glass of water and I'll drive away with that on the counter and it'll, and it'll go flying. You ready? Let's go. I've got my camera set up on the dash because once I get moving, I'm not gonna be able to stop. I think that's the secret to driving in sand or soft mud. You don't wanna stop. You wanna keep a slow and steady pace through it. And like I said, I, I really don't expect any problems, but uh, if I really thought I was gonna get stuck, I wouldn't leave, but I really uh, just wanna be cautious. So oh, make sure my awning is down. All right, I'm gonna get that strap down and then I'm gonna get ready to go. All right, I've got my, I'm gonna use my cell phone camera and I think I'm ready to go. Let me make sure it's on. Shoot, which is not, which means I have to redo the whole thing. Okay, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. I could have used my SJ cam. Okay, let's get going. Should probably do low gear. straight as much as possible. You don't want to have to turn. Oh, look at this. Piece of cake. Uh, that's my big pit right there. How am I going to do this? I think I will go, I think I'll go the same way I came in. an inch. This is a kind of, it looks sandy, but it's really, like I said, it's really packed and the mud is just the really thick clay. Clay, that's what it is. It's like clay mud. I hear a door. Uh oh, okay, I have to stop. A cabinet door. You hear that? Okay, I'm going to stop. 
What do you think, Capone? We'll get that cabinet door shut. <laughs> I've got drawers open. I really took off in a hurry. <laughs> That's it. When it's time to go, it's time to go. The roads are calling and I must go. That's my new saying. Hey, the road is calling and I must go. What do you think, bud? Hope I have enough memory on my cell phone. I tried to download pictures earlier, but my hard drive on my computer was full. And I loaded it to my five terabyte external hard drive. And that's when I decided I had to go. So I didn't have time to clean up myself. So much to do and only so many hours in the day. This is the one. This stuff's just flying. I think I'll go off to the left of this one. Remember, don't stop. Just keep going at a steady space. I am in low gear. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not in low gear. But I have overdrive all. I like this spot. And it was nice. I wanted winter for a while and that's what I got. But I'm done now. It's the beauty of my life. <laughs> if you don't like your neighbors, you can move. If you don't like the weather, you can move. Okay, that looks a little muddy up here. This was one of the spots I knew would get muddy, so I'm just gonna ride that rut. Piece of cake. I think my tires, I can feel my tires getting muddy. I can actually hear the mud flinging. Just like the mud that caked on my shoes. Yeah, I can hear it, you hear it? That's mud. Which is also, um, which means it's gonna cut out the traction on my tires. Yeah, and I'm feeling a little slippery, so. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. So I'm gonna, just gonna keep moving, I'm sliding. My tires are caked with thick mud. So I was just a mile from the road, the main road. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving a little fast. I'm a little worried now about getting on the pavement. Uh, I'm gonna have to go slow because if my tires are caked with mud, I'm not gonna have a lot of traction. So I'm gonna go slow at first until hopefully it comes off. But I don't wanna stop right now either. Actually, I'm, I've got pretty good traction, so I seem to be moving all right. I'm not slipping and sliding, but this, look at this. This is rock. It's a lot harder. <laughs> Half hour ago, I was sitting at my computer and decided to move, and here I am. And I made it. it actually looks like somebody who's been out here recently. All right. Yay. <laughs> I did it. Okay, unfortunately, my cell phone ran out of memory, just like I thought it would. So I'm not even sure if I captured, I put the phone up to hear the mud flying off the rig when I got on the highway. Holy cow, it was noisy. <laughs> but uh, I made it safe and sound. That wasn't bad at all, just like I figured. Like I said, if I really thought I was gonna get stuck, I wouldn't have done it, but got my blood pumping. That's what life is about, right? <laughs> all right, see you soon.